Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how to create a command that says hello to a player and to send a message that says hello when a player joins the server. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create custom prefixes for all players without using plugins like luckperms, permissionsx, etc. This is a little more in depth, but it's not too difficult, and I'll show you how to do it. So the command is going to be called slash prefix. Now, this command will take some text. The text will be whatever you want to set your prefix to. So, in angle brackets, we'll add text. This signifies that text must be given with the command in order for it to run. This text entry is called an argument. Next, we'll set the description of the command. Set your prefix. Next, we'll set usage to slash prefix your prefix. What this will do is if you run the command slash prefix without anything after it, it'll tell you that you have to add your prefix afterward. So whatever you type here is exactly what it'll spit back at you. And we'll add trigger. Now in the trigger section, this is actually what's going to happen. This command needs to be able to save some data. Each player needs to be able to save their prefix. And there's a pretty easy way to do it. Script has built-in variables that can save all kinds of data. The type of variable that we want to use in this command is a list, because each player is going to be having their own value. So the way we denote a variable is using curly brackets like this, and inside we put the name of the, of the variable we want to save. So we're going to call this prefix. Oops, excuse me. Prefix. Now because this variable is a list, we need to add colon colon star. This indicates the script that this is a list variable and holds multiple values. So how do we use this? So what we're going to do is we're going to set the prefix list at the entry of the player. So this means it's going to create an entry in prefix. If it's not already there, it'll create a new one of the player's name and it'll set that value to percent argument one. Argument one is the first argument in the command. If you have multiple arguments, you can you would say argument two, argument three, etc. Here there's only one, so it'll be arg one. So once again, this will set in the variable list prefix the entry for the current player, it'll set that value to the text that you enter arg1. Okay? It's a little complicated, but once you understand it, it's actually quite easy. And just to make the player feel better, we'll send a message to the player. Set your prefix, if I can spell, prefix to, and then once again, we'll use the percent arg1 and a close quotation mark to player. This will tell them you set your prefix to whatever you entered. And that's all we need to do is to set the prefix. Now, how do we actually see the prefix in chat? Well, every time someone chats, it causes an event, and script can actually detect this. We're going to use the on chat event. Like we used up here for the on join event, we're going to use the on chat event here. Let's create some more lines. On chat. What we actually want to do is prevent the original message that the player sent from actually being sent. And we're going to replace it with the message that includes the prefix. So on chat, we're going to set a variable because we want to save whatever the message was. So we'll just call it M for message to the message. Now in this variable name, I put an underscore in the name at the beginning. What this does is this makes it a temporary variable, meaning that only this part of the code can use it, which means that you can use it over and over again. So we'll set a variable m to the message that gets sent. So message here applies to the message that was sent in the on chat event. Set m to message. And now let's also set the player. So we'll create another temporary variable, underscore p, to the player. Oops, extra space, to the player. So now we've saved the player name and the message. And now we're gonna go cancel event. What this will do is this will cancel the event that triggered this event here. 
So this is actually going to prevent the player from sending the chat message. It's not going to cause an error, it just won't happen. But since we've saved the message before we cancel it, we can actually do something with it. So now we're actually going to broadcast the message, but we're going to put the prefix that we saved earlier before the message. So we're going to broadcast in quotes because this is text percent sign. And now we're going to bring back this variable that we used earlier. Oops. Prefix. And then we're going to insert this to get the player's prefix that we saved earlier. Okay. We'll finish that variable. I know this looks complicated, but what we're doing is we're looking through the prefix list for an entry of the player that we've saved here. So this will return the prefix that the player set. And we're going to put a couple spaces. Then we'll put the player's name itself because we want to see who sent it. So we'll put that in again. And we'll go in another couple spaces. And now we'll add the message that they sent. And we'll close it with another quote. So what this is really doing is, is the server is intercepting the message, adding the prefix in front of it, and then sending it out. But to the players, they have no idea. It doesn't, it doesn't really change anything. They have no idea what's going on. So we'll save it. We'll go back to the server. We'll reload the script again. It's the same script as earlier. So first script at SK. Uh-oh, we have an error. Can't understand this expression. And this is in line 16. So we have an error in here. Aha, we don't need per percent signs because we're not inside text or anything else. We can just say arg1. Save again. And it has been successful. So now let's set our prefix to owner because I do own the server. So now you can see it told me that I set my prefix to owner. And now whenever I chat, it, say, it says owner, it's the MHD, hello. And you can go back in here and format this however you like. So some people like to get rid of the spaces there. They, li they like to put the angled brackets around the player's name like the vanilla servers do. So we can save it again. And you can see now it's formatted in a more common way. So that's how to set a prefix and show it before players' messages.